Hey there, we are back in Aceto Corsa. This time we're redoing something kind of interesting. So I drove the LA Canyons um, for the 50 drives playlist and it was great, wonderful. I I did the perimeter edge drive and I don't think I did all of it. I, I think I got almost all the way around and then had an incident and got stopped regardless. The one thing I did not show was Angeles Crest Highway. Angeles Crest Highway is a run through the San Gabriel Mountains going through the Angeles Forest and is a tremendously wonderful drive. It actually it runs from um, the Foothill Boulevard in La Canada, Flint Ridge, east to Pear Blossom Highway, which is State Route 138, northeast of Wrightwood. And so it's a 66 mile stretch of road that's pretty impressive. And it's a two lane road, two lane highway. Um, and uh, it's an amazing drive. The representation here in Seto Corsa in the LA Canyons map is a 26.6 mile stretch. So just a part of it, a little less than half of it worth the price of admission and uh, I thought since I was asked um, if Angeles Crest Highway was uh, in Aceto Corsa that I would drive it and show that yes it is It's a nice twisty, twisty route. I guess uh, it is uh, rather infamous for having uh, one of the higher rates of single car accidents for U.S. roadways. And one can imagine why. It's a, it's a long stretch of road. It's fairly isolated. People have been known to fall asleep, although I can't imagine falling asleep on a road that twists this much. You have to be pretty tired. of this road, uh, the history says that it was actually intended to be a fire road, no more no less, going through the San Gabriel Mountains and the An Angeles Forest. And uh, definitely took on a life of its own. Construction began, of course, in 1929 and carried on to 1941 when it uh, was shut down due to World War II. And uh, then construction continued in 46. In the 50s, they considered actually turning it into a multi-lane highway or multi-lane freeway. That's the right turn there. And uh, Plans for that were abandoned because the geography was such that it wasn't wasn't a reasonable tactic going through the mountains like this. So it wasn't going to work. Uh, turn it into that kind of roadway. So they left it a two-lane highway. It's known as Route Two. Construction on it was finished in 1956. Original construction was started by a prison crew, prison camp uh, work crew. and 
saddle is uh, highest, one of the highest roadway points uh, in Southern California. It is actually a little bit east of where this map started. sign there, elevation 5,000 feet. Dawson's saddle is 7,900 feet. Over 7,900, I think. And uh, other parts of this roadway get as high as uh, 7,000. Which is uh, pretty high. notice that we are kind of driving through a forest and uh, that lends itself well well it lends itself well to some nefarious activity as well as uh, this road <laughs> is fairly well known as uh, figuring in quite significantly in a lot of uh, murder investigations uh, while the murders themselves didn't take place out here no stalkers looking for hapless people running through the forest it is popular dumping ground, I guess. Listen to that waste gate, that's crazy. I don't know, being passed by somebody like that gets my uh, hackles up a little bit and I want to go chase him, but that's uh, imprudent. this drive in uh, just a little over 17 minutes, which uh, figures out to be an average of 95 miles an hour. Isn't bad, I could probably go faster. That is staying in my own lane the entire time. popular this particular run is with uh, the speed crowd. I assume it probably was fairly popular back in the day. In a lot of 
lot of uh, stories that I've heard. You hear uh, Mulholland Drive, Mulholland Freeway, you hear of uh, Pacific Coast Highway. I imagine this probably figured in for some as well as a uh, good racing road back in the 50s and 60s for guys that were faster than they were smart. on uh, one of my previous videos that the LA Canyon's VIP package, if you pay for it, has like uh, one of the free roam maps has 150 kilometers of roadway. Which is pretty extensive. frequently because it's hard to figure you're going to drive that entire map in one sitting. map is that there's a disparity between the map points that uh, this map runs between and the length that the author says the map is. It's off by, I want to say it's off by uh, two kilometers. He reports it as 24.2 and uh, the 
map points that he calls out is definitely 26.6 miles. So... sneaky in that they the radius tightens up suddenly which could also be one of the things that contributes to a lot of uh, single car accidents if you don't drive a road like this often moment of inattention can bad things to happen. like that. Asked a little too much of the front wheels. And didn't uh, take back my ask quickly enough. <laughs> map. 
not so bad, huh? There's some really good stuff there. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And, uh... Angela's Crest Highway is, uh... Pretty, pretty crazy run, um, and uh, a lot of fun to drive. It's only a fraction of the LA Canyons map, so definitely if, uh, if you haven't downloaded at least the free version of this uh, LA Canyons map, uh, you're really missing out, and I highly advise uh, paying the, the full price for the VIP package because it's a phenomenal map. Anyway, thank you for joining, and take care of yourself, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Das war Sport.